So, bear with me because we'll see if we have angered the demo gods or not today. Uh, but gods. Yes. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of quickly show you the code first. And if I was really prepared, I'd show you some Java docs and some other things about, 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 about this. But I thought the easiest thing to do was kind of a little bit show you. Uh, this is just a regular simulator for Android. How many of you guys here are Android developers or seen Android? There you go. So you should be pretty familiar with that. So the idea here is that I'm going to have this little application, which is part of the robotic sample. It's just notes application, okay? So I'm going to scroll up here. But the idea is like you kind of go in here and you create notes and stuff like that. Nothing exciting, but I just kind of wanted to show you that the application is on. When I go back to Eclipse here, it's actually this, this project here, okay? So we can look into the source here. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with Android, but the idea of activities or screens or something like that. But this is the code here. Um, what happens is, what I can do is I can write my test, and I have my project. And I'm going to show you Robotium first. And then I'm going to kind of tell you there's a couple other tweaks in this. But the idea is um, Robotium is kind of cool because it has one class, which is basically the solo class. And using this class, I can basically do a lot of automated testing and automated uh, inputs, like clicks and rounds stuff. I, I can, uh, I can kind of show you what the test looks like that. But the more importantly, with why I like Robotium better than just straight JUnit or Android developer straight uh, JUnit is that I actually don't need the source code. So uh, I can talk about it a little bit later. But the idea is, like, for example, this test, this test under here, I can show you. I can dig into it more later with the straight JUnit test instead of Robotium. I actually have to have the code. Because what happens is I need some of the uh, unique identifiers within the file, and I need to know a little bit how it's developed. That would be what we call white box testing. With Robotium, I can actually get a straight ABK, and that's why I've sort of, I'm not going to run this notepad because it's already on that emulator. I'm just going to actually run the test. And to show you how easy it is, I'm going to just say run as, genuine Android test here. And Robotium is open source, by the way, so it's actually no money. But we're going to go to this tab here, and the idea here is this is my test suite. JWay is the company that supports Robotium, and I've created some tests, and we're going to go look at the code beforehand here. But what happens is there's a little bar, and it's going to show you these three tests. And if I catch it in the right timing, where's my mouse cursor? Uh, I'm going to have to run it again. Uh, I've lost my mouse cursor. Can you? I tried to catch the end of that, but did you see that automation that's sort of happening there? Yeah. What happens is it, it can do it really, really fast too. What happens is it, it, it's actually going and creating this note. See? Okay, that did catch it. Do you see this? Yep. Bang. Okay. Maybe, maybe being a co former coder or coder now, like it excites me a little more. But the idea here is what happens is I created the test suite. That test suite has these three tests in it, and they all ran well. And I can tell. I can click on this and they'll tell you in the code. And then, so what I'm trying to tell you is that there's only one class in, in the solo class within Robotium, and it can do things like click on the menu. So what it did is it went in, clicked on the menu, it went, it said, hey, is the current activity or the screen the right one, which is this one, Notepad Editor. And then it says, you know, let's create something. Let's enter this, go back, click the menu item, enter text, and all this other. So it can do all these things to mimic user inputs. It's actually solo class, I think it has at least 50 different methods in it. Okay. And you can go and it'll emulate the menu clicks, it can do uh, long tap, it can do scroll, it can do pretty well everything. Like they're always catching up, whatever what Andrew provides, but the idea is you can pretty well do just about anything. Um, let's look at the edit note here. Like, so click on the menu name, edit note, enter this text to the first input window, say task, go back. Um, pretty well anything you can do as a user to click in, it can be automated by Robotium, and you can see how fast it done. Right here, I'm kind of sharing my process. There's not that much, but if you have this on your build server and stuff like that, it can go lightning. Um, what's kind of also important here is that, that word assert. So basically, uh, it uses just JUnit asserts. I think Robotium has a couple of additional ones. That is actually when you do your test. If I had to boil it down scientifically to what you're testing, the automation is automating the things you click, the assertions is what your test. So this one says uh, you don't after you you uh, 
discard that note. You want to say, you know, is test one not found or something like that. And I was looking for something like that. I think that's the way this test is created. <coughs> the idea is that assert, if they fail, like, you know, if any one of those asserts fail, that would have been read. <coughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unclick this poorly written test here that I know will fail. And then what I'm going to do is, oh, sorry guys, you can't see this. I've got a, a SAP backup announcement, whether I want to back up my laptop or not. So I'm going to run this again. Yes, I want to save my changes. And then I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this creep. This should start kicking off that process. And then if I've got in time, see, so this is it from the very beginning. It hits, clicks, note, it's typing note one up here. I ran the test already, that's why you're gonna see that, see some duplicates here with, an, with note two. I actually chose in the test that's a good one, is actually a rotated landscape. I know guys are familiar with how much you are with an Android testing, but basically when you rotate, you almost gotta go redraw kind of everything, so that one's a very good one to test, like coming f in and out of the foreground, uh, it's another one, but uh, like, you know, uh, screen lock and stuff like that. But this is something that Robotium really helps with. But you'll notice now that, see this one fail? So it gave me a red bar, it says that four runs, one failure. And it's not an error, it's actually a failure in my code and it actually tells me what happened, what wrong. So yes, it has certain, tells you certain stuff, but I wouldn't say that's necessarily debugging the problem. That's what I meant by that last name, okay? So I know this is really quickly kind of a lot to maybe digest. Um, down here we have the screen stack, so it'll tell me like, you know, test one was not, is not found, you know, is that false or true? You know, I want it to be false, but it was actually true, right? So at the end of the day, remember what I was telling you about what you're actually testing? It's those asserts that you're actually testing, okay? Quick question about what to use for iOS. I think this is what you want. I'll double check with our guys, but I think they're using Frank, which is here. So Frank is, uh, I believe, uh, I don't know. Do you guys use Frank, Meyer? But basically, uh, there's also obviously the, the equivalent of the uh, C version of, uh, of JUnit there as well. But Frank is, is uh, if you saw the screenshot, is probably one of the equivalent products to Robotium or UI automation, automation library. But that would probably be the one that you want to look into. If you have some more questions, I can probably look, talk to our guys and see what they're using for uh, automation. But uh, I want to do that with this kind of qualification. Okay? I don't expect people in this room to run like SAP. <laughs> right, so I kind of told you that a little bit before, but what I want to make sure is like, yeah, well, I'll try to give you kind of the tools and help you kind of guide the way, but like I said, we have this product innovation like this pill process that takes a very long time to push code through. Like I'm, Meyer probably knows all about, you know, getting pill and queue gates and stuff like that. We have a very strict policy for us. So I think you guys are the leading edge of innovators and stuff like that, more nimble. You should play to your strengths. We will play to our strengths. I don't think that you'd be successful by mimicking our strengths. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. So I'm definitely having to give you the tools and stuff like that. If you come out to process and you say, Wayne, how do you release product.scp? It's like, well, how many years do you have? But ideas like, like that, I, I would tell you, I would be hesitant to release that information, not because of a proprietary kind of concern or something that you will mimic us, but just, I don't think as a small company that that enhances your ability to get MVP and you know running lean, all those things like Eric Reese and uh, those guys are talking about, right? But I'm glad more help to talk about testing in general and show you kind of tools. So that, that was a long qualifier, but hopefully that kind of makes sense. It does.